Guys, this is take three. The first time I forgot the audio, the second time I forgot to click the record button. I'm getting rusty with YouTube. I think it's been like two days, right? Anyways, <laughs> we're back with the M3. This is take three, it feels so weird to say that. Uh, we got Jonathan over here hooking it up with the van. So we got the van right here. Look at that trunk space. We're definitely getting parts up in here. Um, and yeah, we got so much to get. Like, only thing I'm telling you guys is I finally sourced the hood. So I was hoping to go get that hood. Um, the rest of the things, we got a lot of things we got for the car. We got a lot of things over here you guys could probably see, but that's all you guys can see. A lot of things still coming in the mail. This video might be all over the place, but I'm just gonna try to, I, maybe we should this video, guys. I'm just gonna try to get all the parts that we need, see what we have, see what we don't, and just start working on cleaning up this car because this car is a filthy mess, but that's pretty much all. We're heading over to just eat real quick and then we're gonna go ahead and get the hood. So hopefully everything works out. All right guys, I don't know if you guys can see, right at BK, the, the normal unhealthy diet that's cheap for us. And the thing is, I always spend so much on my cars but not on myself, so I decided, you know what? We're gonna eat, we're gonna eat, you know? But uh, right across the street, uh, if you guys can see, we got a Subway. So you know, that's a little bit healthier. You already know, actually it's a lot healthier than Burger King, right? Think so. It's a lot healthier. <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and get some uh, some subway, and then we're gonna head over and hopefully get some new parts. All right, guys. So uh, I went down to subway, and uh, me and Jonathan both went down to subway. You know, we had a good time, right? It was good. Fat. We're, we're <laughs> fat though. That's the problem because they told us about the six inch. You know, we're looking at it. We're just like, hmm. Like we're kind of hungry. You know, and I, here at BK, you know, we get a good meal. We fill us up. So I was like, anyways, we're like, look at the six inch. We're like, that's not gonna cut it. We got a long day ahead of us. We go, okay, we can just go ahead with a foot long, and now we feel fat as shit. And uh, we'll, we'll burn it hopefully. But um, yeah, we got a little bit of way to go. Got about a 30 minute drive, and uh, we'll catch you guys after we get there because I don't want to just you know invade his privacy and record when I'm there. But anyways, we'll see. I wasn't speeding or anything. Justin, what is that on your dash? It's the check engine light. Oh no, I didn't. <laughs> Guys, okay, if this engine blows, that's the title of this video. <laughs> but literally, the one day he decides to bring this car over, it's never had a check it's engine light It's not even my car, it's my dad's car. Yeah. So if this blows on us, oh my god. <laughs> We're just leaving and walk away, like don't even tell your dad. So someone stole it. I'm not dealing with this. Okay guys, why did the chicken cross the road? Because <laughs> he didn't want to get run over. <laughs> Go, hey, yeah. what, is, what is this? Cross the damn road. Jonathan, just Oh my god. Jo I'm hungry, Jonathan. <laughs> I'm hungry. Oh my lord. Dude, we're literally, he's not even moving. <laughs> I just don't understand, dude. They didn't even cross the road, bro. They just went back to the same side. Honestly. Alright, guys, so we're here at my boy's place, the one we're getting the hood from. <laughs> Look at his cars, damn, so you got an E36, which I'm honestly, you know, I actually really like these cars, the M3 ones, but you know, they're not that easy to come by, and at the same time, if you find them, they're like super high mileage, just a manual, my manual as well, so that's what's up, and then beautiful E90, which I contemplated on getting, and uh, you know, we ended up going with the coupe, but it also has the red interior, and it's a manual, damn, you know, what, damn, you know what's up, bro. <laughs> Damn, all right, that's what's up. We're just gonna check out his hood, see if the same thing's aligned with the new ones that I'm getting right now. And if everything's good, we'll be getting a new hood. All right guys, so we just stopped by his house. I'm not gonna show you guys any of his house because that's completely inappropriate. Anyways, so we just talked to him. He has the M3 E36, which is super dope, and an E90 M3, which is super dope. Uh, we got the hood. Hood has a little bit of damage, but it's it's very minor. Don't really care. Uh, dropped a lot on it because hoods are not cheap nowadays but anyways that's one part we're gonna hopefully go find a couple few more things for the front end and uh we'll come back to you guys <laughs> i don't know should we keep coming back to him <laughs> <laughs> so messed up what else do we have to get we need like the radiator support airbags random shit like that let's just go check out that radio support let's just go check if the radio supports in good condition we'll pick that up as well if not we're just going on with the hood but then we still got a lot of things at the house, guys. A lot of things are still coming in at home. We got a lot of new packages at the house. So uh, we'll come back to you guys whether we get the radio support or we get it, we get we get back home, right? Yeah. One or the other. All right, guys. So we got the last couple dollars right here. So this is for the radio support. Um, we got that hood for a really good deal as well. Um, we'll make a little parts list of everything and how much we spent for everything. But yeah, this radio support's about 200. So that's just, you know, stuff like that. It's like, damn. God damn, like some plastic piece, 200 bucks, but whatever. See, that's the thing that sucks, is that this is a radio support, so I was expecting to buy it right off the bat, but there's a lot of things that go behind the radio support that cost like 50, 60 each, that add up to like three, 400 bucks, so it's like, damn. So yeah, shit adds up, but uh, 
All good, let's just go ahead and pick this up and we're gonna at least start testing the frame. I mean, not the frame, but the pillar and see if everything lines up properly. All right, guys, we're finally back home. We got a radiator support. We got the hood. I'm about to drop that off because it's very fragile. And then we're gonna head over, pick up the door, the dash. What else? Another hood from another car. And uh, don't worry about that. And uh, we're gonna go down to pick up, see if we can pick up any more parts. We're still doing a little yeah, parts day today. We're just going everywhere. Um, and don't worry, I got dropped on the gas. I'm, letting, I'm not letting him take me everywhere, uh, you know, for free. I'm gonna get him food and everything, don't worry about that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, but yeah, we're super excited. He's gonna a whole bunch of parts. Oh, and, uh, oh well then I ain't buying him <laughs> shit. Anyways, let's go ahead and unpack all this stuff and uh, get in the garage, because we got a lot more things to pick up today. Oh boy. It's not the lightest thing, but it ain't heavy either. Ready to support as well. All right, guys. So what's super crazy that this hood came off an 011. Um, this is an 08, of course, but this is the exact same code. So everything, all the stickers and everything match this hood, which is amazing. So it should help out with CHP. The only issue, um, it has that sticker, which is the same. It has that sticker, which is the same. But this sticker says 08. So I, I don't know. We might have to see if we can swap that sticker out. But let's, I don't know if that's possible. But anyways, this hood has everything that we need. They're gonna swap off to that one. And uh, we also got the radiator support in pretty good condition. The only thing that's broken is this, but that's not a big deal. These things run about 450 at BMW. We picked it up for 200 today. So that's a good buy. What I just found. I just found an amp. I'm already. I already started taking it out. We found an amp, and we also found cup holders. Oh my lord! So many BMWs out here in the Stockton Co Park. I mean, pick and pull. Damn. Honestly, if you guys want to get some stuff, there's still a lot of things here for E46s, E36s. I got some wrap carbon fiber. Ah, oh, damn. Hell no. Nah. I stepped this away from that. That's that's the reason why that vehicle is here. I don't know if you guys know, a couple of those these cars go for like 50 bucks. And these and work. I, and these work. Like, like the springs are good too. Springs are perfect. And the amps are like 200 bucks. And I know I'm going to probably do a conversion on my car, the M3. So, because we're going to do like the CCCIC retrofit. So, I mean, that's some good stuff. Oh dear. As so we'll catch you when I'm picking up uh, some more parts later today. <laughs> picking up a lot of shit today. Today's the day we're just picking up all the parts so we can get to, uh, we can, you know, we can get started on this build. <laughs> what a, oh, hold on, chill, bro. I'm not going to kill you. My, He's so cute. Oh my god. He's so cute, dude. Dude, he just. Whoa, okay, chill. <laughs> chill. Alright, guys, so we just stopped by Andre's and Erlan's place, always hooking it up. So we got a dashboard, the one with the CIC uh, cutout. So we're gonna be doing a, a navigation retrofit for those of you guys who don't have navigations in your car. We're gonna show you guys how to do it exactly step by step. Because that's something I always want in every single BMW of mine. The navigation is a must. I, I don't even use the navigation, but I love knowing the errors that I have. BMWs give you errors all the time. So at least you can read out the errors without needing a code reader. So I think that's really convenient. At the same time, it just looks more luxury. So yeah, I just went ahead and picked up everything while we're in the handy dandy mommy van. So that's pretty dope. <laughs> Honestly, this van is pretty nice. Like I actually right here, let's, let's show. The, oh, you can only see the hood right now. But yeah, but everything else is underneath right there, it, yeah. and a dash is underneath it. But. Like, man, honestly, like this van, it hauls. It does some good work. I mean, if you guys want to see a van on the channel, you know, instead of a truck, you guys let me know because it's possible. My bike, oh, dude, is that your Z? <laughs> Mine. Huh? It does kind of look really bad. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't mean, I didn't mean to insult you, but it doesn't look like it. Speaking of 350Z, I'm trying to sell mine, so. Uh. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, dude, sorry about the not giving you the plug there. Um, <laughs> you guys got to see him. Oh shit! <laughs> okay, hold up. What is he doing? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. So basically, guys, Jonathan, uh, the Z I sold him. Uh, you know. I know uh, like Schumacher was here. He'll buy the Z immediately, but I know you're not here, bro. So we are selling the Z. Um, a lot, of, a lot of maintenance has been done on it. A lot of maintenance still needs to be done. Not really maintenance, mostly aesthetics. Maintenance yeah. is pretty much done on the car. It's good to go, right? Like, yeah, it, the car is solid. Um, but yeah, he sold it for thirty five hundred bucks. So I probably thought a little cinematic or something like that. Nah, it's no, no. Okay, so forget the cinematic. I'll post the Craigslist ad down below. <laughs> but you guys check it out if you guys want it. It's not for, he sold it for thirty five. Um, he wants to pick up another build for you guys. So whoever that buys it will be helping him. I think thirty five hundred for a manual Z is more than fair. It only has one hundred and twenty k miles, something like that. One hundred seventeen. One hundred seventeen. So. 
Anyways, uh, yeah, so that, that's the thing. If any of you guys want to see, I just give him, you know, my boy a little shout out real quick. Make sure to check out that ad, and you know, his, I'm sure his stuff is beyond, will be on there, right? Yeah. Get ready to get texted a lot. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Only if you guys are serious, all right? Anyways, I'm driving in the mommy van. It's not my car. I don't want to crash it, so cut back to you guys when we get home. All right, guys, a couple thousand dollars later. <laughs> we got everything in the trunk. We got a lot of things at home. We went off. We did a few stops. Oh, it's been a hectic day, guys. We got so much shit for the M3. We're super, super, super excited to show you guys what that is. We're about to go eat because honestly, we're starving. Am I right or am I wrong? Oh, you're right. We're starving. So yeah, we had supper in the morning, but we had a long day. So now we gotta we gotta get something kind of you know decent. Um, obviously, we're fat. Clearly, we're fat. <laughs> and yeah, we're fat. So <laughs> we're gonna go eat one more time. And then we're gonna head home. Guys, I forgot to tell y'all. Um, <laughs> we're pretty fat. <laughs> Don't worry about we're it. We're so fat. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> How you feeling, Johnny? Too much food. <laughs> oh, 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 I've never eaten this much. Ever. <laughs> we just been like literally all day just getting parts. We just got hungry, and then we're like, you know what? So we're making literally some. All day. We're Seriously. making some bargains. So we're like, you know what? Let's, let's, let's eat somewhere good. And now Let's we're see. fat. So it's like ten. Dead ass. Ten this morning till like seven thirty. Anyways, dude, how's your day going? Not pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. That's what's up. Oh, baby. Uh, hood. I can fit. To all you haters, and no, I'm kidding. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, I'm kidding. <laughs> as close as I look like. You guys, we are finally back home, and uh, let's just say. We're a little bit crazy. I don't know if you guys can see all the parts going on right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a little oh, show with the garage. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, you're killing it, dude. Let's go ahead and throw that light. All right, guys, the lighting is beautiful. Shout out to my boy Jonathan over here. Everyone, hand of applause. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so yes, we have the original E90 hood. That's completely irrelevant. That's just there. 335. That's maybe for Jonathan's future car. We don't know yet. Uh, we got an E9. We got an E92 door. This isn't jet black. Who cares? The frame and everything is good. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see over here. We got an amp. We got two cup holders. <laughs> I need a couple of the snacks. Though. Yeah, man. <laughs> and we got the screw. Oh yeah, that we broke. We killed those. You know the, those. Yeah. So we got two more to add to that collection. Um, yeah, we got cup holders, bro. How much? We, how much did we get those cup holders? Five ninety nine. Five ninety nine. We're, yeah. we're gonna get cup holders yeah. for five ninety nine. Hold up. Oh yeah, this is the one that's usually messed up. Wait, it works though. Dude, it works. <laughs> Dude, that's that's insane. So, yeah, both the guy, both cup holders for $12, which is pretty insane. We got the amp for 40 bucks at Pick and Pull. I can't believe we saw the amp there. It was perfectly fine for 40 bucks. I think it goes for like 200 bucks. I'm buying it to flip it. That's the only thing I'm flipping because I need a little bit of cash. One to hurt. Spent a whole bunch of money on this stuff. We went ahead and sourced out a carbon fiber crash bar. This has no damage whatsoever. I was going to cheap out and get one that's kind of cracked because I don't know if you guys know, but carbon fiber crash bars, there are a bunch of money. These are like $800, but you know, this one, it's pretty good, no cracks at all, perfect condition, and I got it for stupid cheap. Let me let me just let you guys know, everything you guys are gonna see in this video, we got under, and I still have a lot more things coming in the mail, we got under two grand. So for those of you guys who are saying you can't rebuild an M3 on like a five grand budget, that is completely false. I'm just gonna let me let you guys know right now, it, it is completely possible. I haven't bought the headlights yet, there's a couple things I haven't done yet, there's a couple like, you know, body work I have not done yet, but I still have high hopes. Anyway, so you got the radiator support right there, which is pretty awesome. The best part right here is the hood. We finally found a hood. One of you guys reached out to me saying I have a hood in my backyard for four years. Do you want to come by it? I was like, hell yeah, I'm gonna come by. Drove down to his house, went ahead and picked up the E92 hood. We got an E92 M3 bumper as well, and we got the little AC compressor down there. Um, we got all kinds of parts. We got a fender. It's not the same color, but we'll work with it. Uh, we got a CIC dash. 
So we're gonna be doing a retrofit to the CIC. We got the positive so we can finally get the car to start up once we get everything situated. We need that We need that to put on the belts and everything. We don't need that to start up the car, but we do wanna put all the belts and make sure everything's working properly. Um, I got that last pulley also that we needed. Right next to this pulley, you guys to see a brand new radiator. I just went ahead and bought a new one. I don't really wanna deal with having a leaked up you know, radiator. I don't wanna put everything together and find some problems. So we got a good radiator. Um, we got the plastic for the oil cooler. Uh, we got another bracket. I have a couple more brackets in the backyard. We actually, the oil cooler is inside. Are you guys tripping? What is going on in there? Oh, what the? Dude. Yes, I don't know if you guys know, but these hoods are super expensive. If you did that, I would have messed you up. And underneath this hood, also, guys, I got a brand new um, shop vac because I need a shop vac up in here. So it's like, you know what? Let me just pick that up while we're at it. Why are you bashing all my gears, bro? Anyways, here's that brand new oil cooler we got as well. So we got an oil cooler. We literally have a lot of things here, guys. I don't know if you guys can see all these parts, but we got a lot of parts, boys, and we're super excited about that. Guys, we're here at the end of the video. Uh, I did mention about that we're gonna be doing a giveaway. Um, so basically, guys, I am gonna be doing a giveaway. It's something I mentioned. Let me go ahead and get in the light real quick. I thought about, you know, I love these cars so much, and my boy Johnny, after seeing these cars, he wants one, right? Am I right or am I wrong? He really wants one, so. I'm three because I'm not rich, but. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not rich either, but you know, I'm making it work. But I mean, Jonathan really wants an E90, and that's, you know, it's, it's my fault. <laughs> so, um, what I'm thinking, honestly, if you guys are down for it as well, I'm thinking we might do a giveaway. Now, I know I may not even look like I can afford to uh, build this car, but we'll work on it. And also, I'm planning, I might, I might actually do an E90 giveaway. I might, I wanna buy an E90, rebuild it, and give it to one of you guys. Um, so that's something I really wanna do at no cost. I'm not gonna charge you guys. I'm not gonna say like buy any tickets. I'm not gonna do none of that stuff. All I want you guys to do is be subscribed to the channel. If this channel gets to 50K subscribers, which I know you guys can do, I'll be giving away an E90 to one of you guys. But yeah guys, as soon as we get 50K, I'll be doing an E90 giveaway. Basically what I'm gonna do is gonna buy an E90, rebuild it. Not gonna, I'm not gonna buy one that's like crucially messed up because I know it's gonna be for you guys. I don't want you guys driving a car that's messed up. But I'll buy one for you guys that's like minor damage, rebuild it on the channel, and then give it to one of you guys, which I think is pretty dope, especially you guys don't even have to pay to enter. All you gotta do is make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and that automatically enter you into the channel. Another thing you guys have to do is just follow me on my Instagram. So just follow my Instagram, and as soon as we hit 50K subscribers, we're gonna go ahead and give Give away an E90 or an E92, whatever you guys you know want to do a giveaway on. I will go buy it and we will work on it. We'll give it away to you guys. But anyways, guys, I know you're probably looking at like, oh, this food, this food has no money, you know? Like he's probably looking at me. You guys are probably looking at me right now through the, through the camera. And you guys are like, what the hell? This dude has no money. No, I'm telling y'all. Once we hit 50k, I fulfill my promises. I always fulfill my promises. So let's let's do it, guys. 50k subscribers, or we'll do an E90 or E92 giveaway. Now, hopefully, I should have this car done by then. Unless you guys go nuts and you get 50k next week. <laughs> I think you should confirm you're not giving this away. I'm not giving my M3 yeah. away. Okay. This is a car I want to keep, so I want to stay with it. So in my next build, I want to give it to you guys. I want to buy like something you know that kind of started this channel, which is the E90 chassis. I want to buy one of those. I want to give it to one of you guys. E92. Or an E92, because my brother had one of those. That's, you know, that was nice car. kind of the end of the channel as well. Yeah, exactly. Anyways, I don't want to drag this any longer than it is. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button. In the next video, we should have all the parts to start up the car. We're going to try to get it started, try to get some of the front end assembled. We might even start working on the frame. So if you guys are excited, make sure to smash the like button. Love you guys so much. Remember to stay humble, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.